Example two, assume a shaft with diameter dimension of 1.875 plus minus 0 0.0015 inches. Apply the tolerances to the go and no go snap or ring gauges. Draw the gauges and dimension them. Uh, we will be calculating for the sizes of go and no go snap gauges, but same calculations would apply if we were uh, solving for the ring gauges. So the tolerance of the gauges is equal to 10% of the workpiece tolerance. So that will be 10% of two into 0 0.0015 because we are having equal bilateral tolerance of 0 0.0015. So that will turn out to be 0 0.003 inch. The basic size of the go gauge is equal to MMC of the feature being inspected. So the feature being inspected here is an external feature that is the diameter of a shaft. So the basic size of the go snap gauge will be equal to the upper limit of the diameter that is actually the MMC of the diameter. So that will be equal to 1.875 plus 0 0.0015. So the basic size of the go snap gauge turns out to be 1.8765 inches. And as we discussed that the tolerance is applied in the minus direction for the go snap gauges. So the go snap gauge will be dimensioned as 1.8765 plus 0 minus 0 0.003 plus 0 because we are using unilateral system uh, for applying tolerances. The no-go gauge checks the LMC and the LMC of an external feature is the lower limit. So the basic size of the no-go snap will be equal to the lower limit of the feature that is the diameter of the shaft. So that will be equal to 1.875 minus 0 0.0015. So the basic size of the no-go snap turns out to be 1.8735 inches. And the tolerance is applied in the plus direction because we have to keep the gauge tolerance within the workpiece tolerance zone. So the no-go snap will be dimensioned as 1.8735 plus 0 0.003 minus zero. And this is the uh, drawing of the gauge and it is showing uh, the double-ended snap gauge where the go and no go gauges are on the opposite sides of the gauge but we could have actually a progressive snap gauge where uh, the go and no go would be on the same side of the gauge but the dimension would be the same so uh, the go snap has a size of 1.8765 plus 0 minus 0 0.003 and no go as a size of 1.8735 plus 0 0.003 minus 0. And it is always good to have a graphical analysis of the sizes. So the basic size of the go was equal to the upper limit. So this is the upper limit of the diameter. So that is actually the size of the go gauge. So this is the size of the go gauge. Basic size of the go gauge is equal to and the upper limit. So that is 1.8765. And the basic size of the no gauge was equal to the lower limit. So this was the MMC, the upper limit, the lower limit is equal to LMC. And that is the basic size of the no go gauge. So that is 1.8765. 8735 inches and the basic size of the go gauge is equal to its upper limit and that is 1.8765 and the lower limit will be 1.8765 minus 0 0.003 so that will be equal to uh, 1.8762 and the lower limit as well as the basic size of the no-go gauge are the same and the upper limit will be equal to 1.8735 plus 0.003. So that will be equal to 
0.38. So this is the workpiece tolerance zone this much. So from the lower limit to the upper limit of the feature being inspected. And this one is the tolerance zone for the no-go gauge. And this is the tolerance zone for the go gauge. So this is the zone actually where the parts made will be within acceptable limits and they will be accepted. But this region, that is the tolerance zone of the go gauge as well as this region, that is the tolerance zone of the uh, no go gauge. These two tolerance zones are actually creating some probability of rejection of good work. So that is a limitation of uh, applying unilateral tolerance to the uh, design of gauges, but we are avoiding the probability of accepting bad work, the work that is uh, beyond these limits. So the work that is uh, greater than the upper limit or that is the smaller uh, than the lower limit. So that risk is there if we are using bilateral tolerances, but that risk is avoided if we are using unilateral tolerances. Thank you.